Hello and welcome. For today's session, I'm going to be taking you through a yoga flow that can help stretch the hips, add some flexibility, and hopefully alleviate any lower back pain. Obviously, you know your body's best, so do what's best for you in this practice. To begin with, we're going to start lying down in a reclined position, just beginning to keep the knees bent with the soles of the feet in contact with the earth. So when you're ready, begin to come onto your backs. And as you begin to arrive, keeping the knees bent, soles of the feet about hip width apart, maybe slightly wider. Ensuring the shoulders are comfortable, hands going up towards the sky, stretching, and then letting the hands melt down. And what we're going to begin to do is we're going to take the feet as wide as your mat to begin with, knocking the knees together. And the hands can stay on top of the hips, so we might begin to take the arms up overhead, just seeing how this feels in the lower back, taking a bit of a ragdoll, opposite wrists, maybe opposite elbows. Here we're going to take three rounds of breath and our chosen variations. What we'll begin to do, regardless of what we've chosen with our hands, taking the knees apart, we'll begin to windshield wiper the knees gently side to side. Maybe the soles of the feet stay in contact with the earth. Maybe we're taking the edges of the feet. We'll begin to come back through center, toe healing the feet about hip width apart, and we'll begin to invite that left knee in towards the chest and then the armpit. And we're just going to take a little bit of a circle or a diagonal. This right leg can stay bent, or you might begin to straighten. So with the foot going away from you. We're going to explore a twist, taking the right hand to the left knee, T-shaping up that left arm, or we're going to take a gentle twist across the body. So for some of us, it might still be in line with the body itself, or it might go onto the other side. If the leg is straight, you might find yourself coming onto the pinky edge of that right leg. You can admire the sky, or if you want a full spinal twist, taking the gaze over towards the left. And as little as much pressure to the outside of that knee. We'll begin to release the twist, gaze coming back through center, and that left knee going towards the armpit. And we'll begin to open up the knee. So right hand coming onto the hip or the earth. You might circle or point and flex that left foot. And we'll begin to bring the left knee back in towards the armpit, bending the right knee, so the foot coming to the earth. We're going to come into a figure of four. So taking the left ankle or the pinky edge of the foot onto the right thigh, maybe walking that right heel a little bit closer. And you may stay in this figure of four. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can bring in the legs, taking a pretzel, hands along the thigh, maybe you interlace. Maybe we take the fingertips to the shin. Just taking a gentle sway. And we'll begin to come back through to our figure of four, releasing that right foot down. Hands coming down by our side. We're going to take a figure of four bridge. Staying, you're beginning to press into that right foot, lifting the front of the body. And you won't come up as high as you would in a normal bridge, and that's absolutely fine. And gently beginning to release. We'll begin to bring this left knee back in towards the armpit. We're going to explore a half happy baby. So taking the arm on the inside of that left leg, we might hold on to the shin ankle. Maybe we have hold of that left foot. Right knee can stay bent. You can begin to explore 
straightening it, keeping the heel in contact with the mat. And we're going to release the left foot down towards the mat. And then we'll begin to bring this right knee again in towards the chest and then towards the armpit. Those things in little organic movement, swaying your side to side. We're going to begin to explore that twist. So your choice of this left foot staying in contact with the earth, you're beginning to straighten. We'll begin to T-shape out our right arm, taking that right knee across the body. Choosing your gaze. And beginning to release the twist, gaze coming through center, knee towards the armpit, and then we'll begin to open up. Again, left hand can come to the top of the body, maybe the earth. Or you might circle or point and flex. I'm beginning to bring the knee back in. If we've straightened the left leg, we're beginning to bend. So the foot coming to the earth. We're going to come into your figure of four, maybe clarifying the arms if necessary. Staying within the figure of four, coming into your pretzel. Choice of framing, interlacing the thigh, or taking the fingertips to the shin. Taking a little bit of organic movement. We'll begin to release the left foot if we've taken our pretzel, palms coming down to the earth, preparing for your figure of four bridge, pressing into that left foot, lifting the front of the body, and turning the left sit, sorry, left shoulder blade stays in contact with the earth. It hasn't popped away. And we'll begin to release. Bring the right knee back. In. We're going to explore your half happy baby, hands staying exactly where it is, maybe right arm comes on the inside of the right leg, grabbing hold of the calf, maybe the foot. Your choice with the left foot, keeping it in contact with the earth or sliding it away. We'll begin to release that right foot down to the mat. If we've straightened the left leg, failing to bend, we're going to begin to come into a reclined butterfly. So we're going to toe heel the feet closer together, and then letting the soles of the feet meet as the knees go in opposite directions. We can make choices. You can make a fist, maybe taking that between the earth and the thigh, just helping support, depending on the length of your arms. Or otherwise, you could take that rag doll overhead, so that's how we did the beginning of our time together. We'll begin to release the hands and we took room up overhead. Fingertips coming to the thighs as we begin to bring the knees together. And we'll casually begin to bring the knees in towards the chest, massaging out the lower back. And we're going to finish with a reclined happy baby. And so what we'll begin to do is take the knees apart, knees towards each armpit. We could stay here. Maybe we take the arms on the inside, hands gravitating along the leg towards the feet. Imagine you're taking a reclined frog-like pose. So we can find some stillness, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Maybe we begin to straighten one leg as we heavily bend the other.
We're going to first straightening the legs, beginning to come back through to that reclined frog-like pose. And we'll begin to bring the knees together, knees to chest. We're going to begin to roll over onto our side that we favor. And we'll begin with a helping hand, pressing ourselves up to a seated position. Absolutely no rush, no hurry. And as when you do begin to arrive to your seated position, beginning to spiral, circling at the waist. Invitation to taking the hands together at the heart and gently bowing the head to the hands in gratitude for investing in your well being and your practice. Thank you for taking this yoga flow with me in regards to our hips and our lower backs. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, check out the link in the description or any of my other playlists, and I'll see you again soon.